Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to do a quick and simple design. It's pretty straightforward. Um, this was actually inspired by a template that Canva already had and I just put my own spin on it and that's the whole idea of when it comes to creating you want to add your own touch to it to make it yours. So let's get started with this tutorial. So first we want to click on the tab text and then I'm going to click on add heading and type in grow girl and I'm making sure that that's in all caps it's really up to you if you want it to be in all caps but that's what I want and this font is peace sans now I'm just going to change the color to this red and then I'm going to duplicate this And go to effects and choose hollow now I just want to make sure that both of these words are centered and hmm, this one I'm just gonna scoot down just a little bit I think that's good I'm just selecting both to make sure that it's centered on both horizontally and vertically so that looks good so now I'm just going to copy and paste both of them and then bring that up and then do it again and then bring it below so this is pretty simple I mean it's straightforward and I love this this design to me is kind of like a classic because it's still around I've noticed it's been since the beginning of the year that the repeating texts have been popular and shoot it's going into another year even when I've looked at um, Christmas designs those the repeating text is what's trending for Christmas designs. so I, I think this concept of the repeating words is going to be here for a while um, and that just goes to show that simple can be just as good as something that's intricate. Like they say, less is more. In this case, less is more. So right now, this looks good to me. Um, now I'm just going to add my detail my flower in the center so I'm gonna click on elements and this is actually the one that I use so right now it's showing you that it's behind my text but I want it to be in front so I'm going to click on position and I'm going to click to front so that means it's going to be on top of everything if I just moved it forward I would have to keep selecting it for each layer for each section of the word so six times I would have to click it six times but to front automatically sends it to the front so I think this size is good I'm actually gonna that's good so now let's see this dark one I'm going to choose the red again now for this I would normally choose white and that's what I did on um, my original design. But this is a tip. When you are doing a mock-up, this is going to help your mock-ups look more realistic. I'm just going to copy and paste the whole design. I, I selected everything, and now I'm just going to copy and paste it to this t-shirt. So right now you can see the difference between this white rose and the shirt. If you look at these letters right here, um, it's the color of the shirt, but the flower is not. So we're going to fix that. Let's 
Let's see. I think that's a good size. I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. All right. So now I'm going to select that flower again. And so in Canva, when you have, when you add photos, it pulls up the colors that's in whatever photo you add. So for this one, this is the photo right here. I'm going to click this first color. And I don't know if you can see the difference, but I can. <laughs> this flower part is not as bright as this is the leaves. So I'm going to click on that again. Click on see all. And then that. And then, of course, it just changed it. And now it looks more re realistic. It blends in more with the shirt. And so when you download this and add it to um, your Instagram or a Facebook ad, it will look like it was actually printed. And you can also do the transparency for this image if you wanted to make it look more realistic not on top of the words though but even that there, there there you could tell <laughs> the difference so yes yeah, so i'm just gonna do undo there we go undo again so yes if you wanted to do the transparency effect on the text, you would actually have to download it as an image, then re-upload it, then add it to your mock-up in order to change the transparency. But that's pretty much it for the design. You would then go to download. And for this, for the picture, I would just select PNG and then the page and then download. But if I wanted to just download the design, I would click PNG, then transparent background, then download, select the page, then download it. So that's pretty much it for this design. Pretty simple, straightforward, but a classic goes a long way. So I hope this video helps. Be sure to follow us on Instagram um, because we have a lot of videos and posts on there and then also if you are new to Canva uh, and want to test it out before you commit to it we have a link in the description box where you can get a 30-day free trial so we hope these videos help you and we'll see you in the next one